Hey YouTube, it's me the Rich Aunt. Um, today I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, some of my drawings and how they've inspired me to work on this body of work that I'm currently working on. So here are two of my moleskin journals. This one I don't always carry with me because it's the largest one that I have. This one is always in my purse. And actually I've filled up quite a few of them so this is the more recent one. So, um, the first dr drawing is, um, basically this was like a tornado that happened in the Midwest and someone had asked me to just do a painting about that. So I did this really quick rendering. I never even got to photograph the painting. <laughs> it was an 18 by 24. It was really pretty. Um, it was a really quick rendering. One, the ink pen sucked, as you can see. It's just, ugh. So this was like, let me just draw this real quick and kind of get an idea. And then, yeah, anyway. This is a um, Sharpie marker. Yeah, so. And I actually did this piece on 12 by 12 wood panel cradle. This is inspired by hair and uh, makeup. See, she has like the band going across that. I really want to paint a whole series on fantasy hair and makeup. So there we go again with that there and the makeup, I mean the hair. And I don't, please don't ask me what this was. This was supposed to be like a caricature and it just turned, it went wrong. She's really funny looking, but here is a normal piece. Um, more fantasy hair makeup. Yeah. And I just did her face, but I did not finish the rest of her. And trying to actually just figure, I do most of my work as African American women. So it's only a few pieces that I've done where I kind of try to do a rendering of a Caucasian woman. So I was just trying to figure out like how to, I want to do my style of noses, you know, more slender, angular nose and still keep it looking like, you know, identifiable, identifiably my creation or my style or whatever. And as you know, I'm always doing boobs. Don't look at her face because it was one of those things where you start making a mistake and you keep going and it's just like, I can't erase because it's ink, which I like because ink makes me more careful, but then sometimes you do mess up. Um, in a journal, it's not supposed to be perfect. You know, it's supposed to be some stuff in there that's like, what the heck? Lyrics to a song, mechanical, anatomical heart <laughs> this was one of my favorite completed doodles and I actually want to create this as a painting but I'm just trying to get color studies down pat where I might do a prismacolor drawing of this but if not I will definitely do a painting whether it's acrylic watercolor I don't know canvas paper I'm still not sure yet but I got to get around to this because if it looks this good in black and white, I can't imagine it in color. I also want to scan it in and play around with it in Photoshop and sell it as a print. And here's some eyes that I played around with, with the fantasy makeup. And this is the stereo heart from that song. <laughs> I love that song. Yeah, so I love fantasy makeup. And that's it for this book. But like I said, this was new. They're both new, actually. But this is the one I carry, like I said, in my purse. This one is all kinds of doodles. Faces, lips, hands, fantasy makeup. Um, yeah hearts this is also a print now that um, someone loved it so much I was like can you do a print of it so once again I made it a print and it's in my store at the richant.com 
$25 for a matted 8x10 and it's $35 for a 13x19 but that one does not come matted unfortunately. Um, um, yeah so yeah I love how it looks like it's tearing away and just I just love this piece and the lyrics are to um, the Eurythmics sweet dreams are made no is this the Eurythmics no this is here comes the rain again by the Eurythmics but um it wasn't sweet dreams and this is a work in progress so still I want it to look similar to that but not so And this is something that most of my doodles are done in ink. I just, I rather, I prefer, and it's not even a special ink pen. It's usually a ballpoint bic, you know. So, yeah. Um, sometimes I use, um, let's see, other one, Uniball. But either way, I like a regular ballpoint ink pen. Um, I find it's the best for shading. For me, without bleeding through the paper, because a lot of them bleed through the paper. So this is going to be a painting that's going to be a spinoff of one of my paintings called Daydreamer, which is a, a was was a which was part of a series in and of itself, but this will be piggybacking off of that painting and starting a new series of work. So that's it. Now these drawings, like I said, started me really getting inspired to do more drawing in my art. I don't usually have like just really nice graphite drawings on paper um, for sale like some artists do. So I said, well, the way I can I, I can introduce drawing into my work is by doing it on the painting itself. And this is what I come up with. I like the grain of the wood, so I started kind of just emphasizing where the grain was really its strongest. And where I didn't emphasize, I decided to paint a face. And um, I don't know why this placemat is like this, but it is clean, believe it or not. That's one of this work in progress. There's still some more shading and value I need to add. And I need to do the detail to her hair. Like, I want to do it like that. So, that's the way I did that. It's the way I want to do each and every one of these little curls. This is finished, but it's not varnished yet. And this is, these last two pieces are finished and varnished. You can see how it really brings it, like the grain out, the pencil, the lines, everything. And her. So yeah. So I have twelve of these that I want I'm doing. Um Look over here. Look, my little lunchbox goes on my tools. You have, I have 12, I mean, eight more right here. Like this one will probably be just half a nose in our mouth. And then maybe on this one, I don't know. Maybe an eye peeping out here. 
some eyes right in here. And still not sure, but maybe eyes up here. Or just a mouth. Turn it over. There'll just be a mouth on the bottom. And something here, maybe a side profile again. <sighs> See, you know. That's it. So these are all the ones that I'm going to do. And this over here are some illustration. On, these are just drawings and doodles that I've done on illustration board. They're usually like three, five, five buck art, five dollar art. But these are going to be framed. I'm still on the fence about whether they're going to be resined. But yeah. That's it. <coughs> Ta. Trying to hold the camera and work on this a little bit. This is kind of what I use for the highlights. The um, hard pastel. So, so almost done, but more shading to do basically. Like shading on her lips. The thing is you have to be kind of careful not to shade too much where it looks from a distance like, does this chick have a mustache? You know, overdo the shading and that is the effect you'll end up with. The softer the pencil, the darker the lead, I find. Sometimes I'll just go ahead and use a not so soft pencil and just add a little more pressure. And also I want to add shading that adds that makes it look like there's a shadow being cast from the bands of color. So first I kind of just outline it. Kind of trying to do this and hold it. the phone. I really want to get back into doing time lapses. I really do. But it is so distracting when you're trying to work and make sure the camera's still running. It's almost like someone's standing over your shoulder. Especially when I know I need to really focus on trying to capture the detail work that I do. Since I'm not a um, person who can just, who paints like abstract work that you have to, you can stand back and watch the person create. And I kind of outline this here, which I'm making a mess of because I'm trying to hold this camera. I try not to erase too much because I don't like the smudges to show up. 
when the varnish comes on, it seems to bring forth any mistakes. So I try to erase too much. I'm going to cut this video short. It's 15 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and call it night. I wish I could record longer, but I really want to go ahead and get this done. I have, like I said, eight more to go. And it usually takes me about, depending on the face, about an hour per face, depending. I'm just that meticulous. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.